Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and how are all my adventurers doing? Welcome back. So, this isn't really going to be like a, like a PvP video. It's going to be more of like explaining what's all inside of the beta. Then I'm going to talk about like the main characters, the characters I want to main. But right now, in the closed beta, which is just like has like a few more days just because it only lasts for a week just so you guys know their official release is like in march i think the third that's the grand release um the basic ticket you're going to get is not for like all the characters yeah like, like all the normal characters it's gonna be the actual basic characters like captain claw western cowboy and the fire mage you know these eight to these Eights. then anything further beyond that will not be in tick i'm pretty sure our knight is also in there too i just don't know what the hell he is <laughs> pretty sure he's like all the way down here yeah but yeah those are the basics now in this beta every day you're going to get 2000 lost saga coins i i'm guessing that's what it starts stands for i mean it's pretty obvious which is actually pretty nice just because that'll give us enough time to like test out characters and stuff like that. Um, a lot of the gears are just basic normals. There are some legendary gears in the game. That's that's something I do know. Costumes are in the game too. So if you ever just want to change your character's design completely, you know, you're just not you're just not into one of your designs you know you could just come over here and purchase a pack make your character look all good you know you won't get the weapon obviously but yeah now I could just use these skills and everything you know if I like this design the most I could just use that so costumes from the basic law saga is still here Female still costs for some reason. I wish they would change this from Log Saga coins to um, at least GP, you know? If they're not gonna make it free, I would say GP would probably be the better idea because that's one of people's pet peeves inside of the first one that we were hoping that was changed. But yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> the reason I have females is just because I bought a permanent packet. But yeah, a lot of the characters that are in the game currently are these amount of rares there's only like seven rares and that's pretty much it nothing more there are no uniques they've already well no they haven't disclosed if they're going to add in uniques or not they're debating on rather to add them or not which i think is pretty much a strong no <laughs> considering the whole player base is like no because uniques are just absurd in op and their gears are absurd and op if you guys have ever fought thunderbird you'll think bad thoughts <laughs> bad thoughts towards your life that's that's for sure T thunderbird oh boy i hate that so much that freaking thundercloud gear was absurd of course you get the immunity after a while but not after you get struck like five different times <laughs> uh but anyway yeah these eight cyber medic berserker robin hood sapper ice mage infantry space trooper assassin defender tile warrior wild boxer viking ninja musketeer taekwondo master mate well simone i don't know why that was so difficult for me <laughs> uh jester Treasure Hunter, Grim Reaper, Lightning Mage, Paladin, Mafia Boss, Tiger, Desert Dancer, Death Knight, um, Necromancer, Gladiator, Wrestler, Puppet Master, a Puppeteer, Hawkeye. Silver Ranger, which a lot of people are crying for its nerf. 
I never used Dev Ranger and I never liked it. So, you know, Dev Ranger is just not my thing right now. Dev Ranger is just like, <sighs> meh. I used to try and use it back then, but it was just like not my cup of tea, really. I like this design for sure, but it was just wasn't the character I just enjoy playing. Lancer. Capoeira. Monkey King. Chieftain. Rockstar. Werewolf. Muay Thai. Uh, I, I forgot. Gotcha. <laughs> Uh, it's been, oh yeah, I forgot about this character. The one that just pedals and teleports. There's Staff Master, Witch, VMech, Iron Knight, Yawn, and eh, not, not one of my characters I can enjoy. That just, okay, I, yeah, I went down too far. Card Position, which a lot of other people are complaining about it too, which it's mostly because of the, the watch, if anything, because the watch slow is absurd. But then again, a lot of people don't like people who know how to use card position. <laughs> I used to use card position just to bother people along with like the Robin Hood armor. <laughs> Barbarian, which I haven't seen a lot of people playing. I've seen quite a people, few people use this, not often, mostly the hat. Graffiti artist, Phantom, Sorcerer, Lucifer, and my main, King Arthur, there's Destroyer, Dogaby, Sprite, which could have sworn it was Robert. No, uh, Peter Pan, right? Hmm, I guess it got renamed, which makes sense, you know. Then there's Dragon Rider, Cyborg. We got how to pronounce your name. <laughs> I'm not trying to butcher names right now. Uh, Anubis, Demon Thief, and Desperado. Yeah, that that's pretty much all that is in the game right now. Towards like the closed beta i'm not sure if they'll all release nah i think they're probably going to release one at a time and it's more than likely going to be dragon slayer or wanderer next is my thought thought initially that's at least my thought when it like, comes to everything but they i don't think they've put like a pricing yet on their stuff so you're not going to see like how much the coins are going to be like scaled by. I haven't tried it yet, which I'm pretty sure it's just not out there yet. Uh, they do have Clover stuff that we can uh, grab, but I don't think we're going to have enough by the end of the beta, really. Because wasn't it like you could claim like a certain amount? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it's like you can claim a certain amount. You guys can feel free to add me if you like see me in game or anything. Like that's perfectly fine. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, really. We do have like some of the like exclusive character, like the premium characters, like hairstyles. Like this was a, uh, I think Soul, Soul bad guy. Then there was. I can't remember his name. Oh, I don't remember ever seeing these hairstyles. These are weird. <laughs> I think I use like these two the most. Yeah, this is so bad guys hair for the male. Then we have one of those Ragna, which I'm pretty sure it was this. And this was Jin Kizaragi. So yeah, we still got some of the premium character hairs in. So you guys, if you're interested in those, uh, you do have gear designs. I just am too lazy to do the whole gear design thing just cause it requires a lot of patience. <laughs> I don't have <laughs> a lot of art patience. I'll, I'll do that later. I'll put back on my little Sonic cape. <laughs> I don't think most people like remember the little Sonic cape that I had back then. Uh, there are still character ranks involved for some reason. Yeah, I don't I don't know why this is there. It doesn't even show us what rank we have to be. If anything, I think the newer characters are like starting to get into like major and over. 
So yeah, you have to be make sure to just buy these guys for like hours and stuff. But then again, the beta gives you 2000 every day, which is actually still pretty nice. Um, so you can just buy yourself a permanent, like pretty much, how many would that be like? Two to three permanents every day depending if you're not trying to buy rares rares are pretty meh at least the ones they have but yeah they also gave out these little xp packets which was like pretty cool that's why some of my characters are like already level 20 or level 29 because i got like multiple packs for uh berserker which i don't even use berserker or care for it berserker was never one of my like favorite characters uh evos are in the game i just don't remember how you got their like little um evo coins i don't remember i think it was probably through a um, deep forest dungeon because i never really tried to evo anything really just because most of the characters i played didn't have evo I've been trying out a lot of gears with uh, Anubis too. So with that said, uh, that's pretty much everything that's in the beta other than like the other modes, which I think I can create here and show. Okay, so you got Red my game, prisoner mode, deathmatch, AI deathmatch, if you guys wanna just chill and play with your friends and stuff like that. We got straight up deathmatch. Ch champion mode is still in here. If people are wondering where th if the side the side by side versus screen is still there. Yes, it is. That's the mode a lot. I've seen a lot of people talk about. Uh, Power Stone is here. Not a lot of people have been doing Power Stone. Not a lot of people have been doing Ghost Tag, which Ghost Tag was actually pretty fun. It was it was annoying with certain characters, but you know, hey, uh, Hazuma isn't in the game anymore, so you know. <laughs> D4 is Dungeon, and then there's Tower Crusade, which Crusade was actually a lot of fun. I I've already beaten these two. I can't go up any more until I go to msg that i can beat the last one you know get that floor 100 done that's at least the goals <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much it for modes that are currently in the game um uh, i guess it's time to talk about like characters i want to main um uh, anubis is starting to come on the list that's for sure i'm very leaning towards Anubis right now. Because Anubis is actually pretty, pretty interesting. That's for sure. I just don't know two things. Uh, what the hell is this effect after the bite? Because I, I need an Anubis main to actually explain this debuff since the game never explains the debuffs either. I don't know what the hell that is either. Another thing that's currently wrong with Anubis, I think, I, I'm not sure if it's HQ or if it's like anything else, but yeah, this is supposed to mummify. It doesn't work inside of HQ. I'm pretty sure it might work somewhere else. Uh, let's go to a plaza and see actually, because plazas would be a lot easier to find people in. Okay, I get it. Okay, so it does work. Never mind. I totally thought it did not mummify people. It, it does. It just doesn't work, work in HQ. Huh. Why, why does it work in HQ? Well, basically you can't practice it in HQ, I guess. Hold on a second. I think you can actually. I just think it can't be DK. I, it's like DK can't be can't be mummified. Oh no, it's full on HQ. HQ does not proc um, mummify for some reason. Uh, well, you can't practice any like mummification notification like uh combos when you're inside of uh, hq hopefully they 
they fix that because I think I remember that being a problem in all the other Lost Sagas, which is unfortunate. <laughs> Very unfortunate that. Oh, Monk, Jesus Christ, don't give me Monk. Or Chieftain. Uh, I've already had enough Chieftain edging days. <laughs> but, yeah, unfortunately, I won't be able to test my combos efficiently when it comes to HQ. Oh, that's annoying. Just because I really wanted to practice, like, a lot of combos with Anubis. So... I would only have the practice inside of like actual games other than like coming up with combos in here. That's annoying. But it is what it is. It doesn't work on robots either. I've already tried it. But it's mostly this that I can work with, which is the dash attack. That's the whole D dash. Like Anubis has like a full kit like you would think he would be like a normal mage or anything, but no, he's a melee character. He can't lift, unfortunately, which is unfortunate. I don't think Anubis can lift off anything, really. Yeah, that only, like, pushes, which is unfortunate. I've already came up with, like, quite a few combos, if anything. I wish they would have made it to where DK regens HP after a second after like a few, you know? Just like in fighting games to where your dummy regens HP. So you can just see how like full your damage is. Leaving there for like five seconds. Nah, I would say if he's not getting hit for like five seconds, I would say regen his HP, especially for like training. I think DK also has a smaller hitbox than most people, so kind of want to see that kind of increase a little bit but eh, I guess you can use like one of your normal characters if anything I know there was a way to like set these characters up yeah here we go yeah if you wanted to train against like um our knight armor which a lot of people will be using a lot of like our night and Viking shields will be going on. Like I streamed it like a few days ago and there were just like so many freaking our night like armors. Well, I can't say our night armors. There were so many Viking shields. Like there was a absurd amount of Viking shields. Like everybody in free for all had Viking shields. And I'm sitting here like, Jesus Christ, where are all these Viking shields coming from? <laughs> but then again, it could have been me just dropping him and dying. <laughs> I've been trying to use like one main person inside of um, free for alls because free for all is my favorite all time like mode to be in just because it's like so chaotic. And plus you can just bother people and interrupt their combos. <laughs> it's like if you don't want your combos like. Oh, yeah, I forgot you no longer get deflect if you're in the air. But yeah, if you don't want your combos interrupted, don't don't join free for all. <laughs> That's only for like the fun fun people. Uh, wait, is um. Oh wait, that's that's a mode I haven't seen in a while. Is boss raid in here? Oh no, boss raid isn't in here. Aw, dude, boss raid was so much fun. That I just realized that boss raid was not in here. I'm sad, <laughs> dude. What the heck, man? I was wondering if they would leave like some information in it and hear about it. <laughs> that would have been interesting. But yeah. Un unfortunately, <sighs> boss raid is not in the game. I mean, you still do the whole one sided thing. The one, the whole one person versus eight people which the one person will get a buff increase like a huge damage buff and you'll take a huge fall damage if you're on like the team with eight so yeah if you get edged you're more than likely dying <laughs> so edging is definitely scary uh, i've seen quite a few maps that's for sure 
which one is a train train map which yeah it's like a train station map which i've never seen before it was actually pretty interesting let's go uh take a look at it while we're here um be prisoner let's go ahead and password it so, so we can take a look at all the maps that are in here i haven't i have yet to see coliseum Okay, yeah, Coliseum is still in. Oh my god, there's a lot more maps than usual. Yeah, these are the new ones. I haven't seen this one. I think, if anything, I can change this room to a uh, AI. Okay, get this out of my face. Thank you. Pink maps. Okay. Okay, so AI doesn't have any of the other maps because it's because um, they don't know how to jump, I guess, <laughs> or they aren't very smart when it comes to like, you know, more chaotic maps. So never mind. Psh, feels bad, mate, but we'll see those. Yeah, this is probably the most like unique map for them just because this happens a lot <laughs> unfortunately oh wait oh you can't uh petrify them oh mummify them so it doesn't work on any ai anything ai base mummify does not work on I'm happy I tested that. Jesus. Not only this, the, all these characters, all these fucking, oh God. Um, never mind. Thunderbird Tell is in here for some reason. Wait, was Thunderbird a um, rare? I thought Thunderbird was a unique. Huh. So I thought. Hmm. Interesting nonetheless, though. Unfortunately, I cannot, uh... Wait. Hold on a second. I thought to myself... Can you not, sir? Hold on. Let me get rid of this dude. Oh, yeah, I can't lift. I totally forgot about that. Hopefully that what if Anubis does get like a um, evolve, it's gonna have like a lift combo. Oh May! Oh, so the AIs can still. Oh my God! You can still use AI things. So May is actually in the game. It's just the AIs have it, and Jin's in here. What? Yo! Dude, somebody kill our teammates. <laughs> they have everything that's good in here. Yeah, I'm so happy I checked out AI. So if you ever want to check out any of like the older premium characters, you just come in here. I hope they use they're using it. Cause I didn't even realize that he was having like that gear. Oh, this is a gear I used to use too. The gear that this uh, dude has. That was actually one of my favorite uh, passive gears. Oh, wow. Okay, dude. Good job. <laughs> like, oh my god. The nostalgia of just seeing May weapon. Oh god. Me going through nostalgia, I just ran off the map. <laughs> I'm just going to even this up a little bit here. You guys have a kill, but yeah, unfortunately, um, we're not going to be getting premiums for a while. More than likely. Oh my God. Look at this dude. I remember when I used to main like May for a while. <laughs> Did 
She was like really difficult to use if you were just trying to like basic combo with her. Oh god. Oh god, thank god that crap is on our team. Oh, percent for that armor. <laughs> oh my god. These gears. No. <laughs> that was another fun thing about... There we go. <laughs> Can you not? This kind of makes me want Druid now. <laughs> Wasn't Druid like a rare? Yeah, I'm not sure how, how much like combos May had. I think she only had like Three. Oh yeah, it was the dash attack that initiated it. Okay, it was pretty much like all you can do actually so she had pretty much a good amount but yeah it was actually pretty neat Jesus Christ I wonder if they have any other ones dude if I see Ragna weapon I would grab that shit immediately <laughs> so AI Team Deathmatch is where to go if you want to just nostalgia yourself with like the old gears that they clearly forgot that was in there. <laughs> but yeah, even with that said, uh, what else? What else was there? I was planning on maining Anubis, either that or Dragon Slayer or Wanderer when they came out. Because Dragon Slayer, I actually enjoyed a lot. Because Dragon Slayer had like some really good range, a really good kit, and was very annoying for a lot of people to deal with. Also had a few combo starters, actually. Um, Outboxer was another character I kind of wanted to get back into because Outboxer was like pretty much one of my third secondary trying out type of mains. If anything, I'm hoping, and I can say I'm hoping, I'm hoping they'll be here soon. If not, that'll be unfortunate, but hey, it is what it is. I'm looking forward to the launch too. The launch should be maybe absurd is what I want to say. Just because a lot of people are probably waiting for like the full game and everything or actually a lot of people probably aren't putting the time into the game just because they know all their progress will be wiped that's probably like one reason as for me it's just kind of like dude i might as well just see see if i can work off the rust if anything oh yeah forgot about that i think i'm thinking about using um lightning mage as my combo at best with a uh, Nubis. Just because I know the Evo resets a lot, and I mean like a lot. Then again, freaking Lightning Mage out of itself is absurd. I've been working on this combo for a while. It, it, it does quite a bit of damage, that's for sure. I am using keyboard also. I've tried a controller a few times, but controller is just not for me. Controller is just like so weird to work with. The only thing like huge downfall with um keyboard is the directional attack. 
Like sometimes you get locked out on certain characters for some reason. Like it won't let you hit like more than like three or four buttons. Which I, I've learned is like, which character was it? Cause I had it happen to me a few times with like King Arthur, but it seems like it's fine now. Maybe I just had like a button enabled that just stopped it from that. Cause it happened a lot when I was streaming. Okay, never mind. It's fixed now. Cause there was like, there's a reason why I hated like the older Lost Saga. Cause for some reason, if I held like directional, then attacked. For some reason, the attack would not go off. It was like really weird. I think it's fixed for me. Maybe it was a setting on my PC that just prevented me from doing that. Not sure. So my basic combo so far that I have in my head. If you're going to main a character, make sure to like combo it with other characters, because the longer the combo, the more damage. <laughs> Depending on how you build your characters, I'm probably going to build my Anubis full damage. Like if you can land a combo more than like once, you got you got yourself something going. Oh wait, Anubis can combo off that? Oh, okay. I didn't know Anubis could combo off her whole D start. That's interesting. Yeah, the dog helmet is fucking useless. <laughs> I'm going to be honest there. The dog helmet is definitely not useful at all. It's actually pretty trash. Not going to lie to you. Not going to lie to you, G. It's actually pretty trash. <laughs> I wonder, am I allowed to like dash off that? Or how fast am I dashing? Ah, okay. Yeah, that could be pretty good yeah I could probably use that as an edging, edging tool I'm still trying to get used to boxers like timing and everything you know sometimes hitboxes are weird sometimes they're not oops I totally fucked that up <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to like do the full combo into the nuke punch. Yeah, there you go. Someone like that. I got to delay it by like one second. I got to just like build this into my brain. If you get like a character and you have like combos you want to do with it, I would say practice those combos every single day, at least for like 30 minutes a day, just to get it built into your brain. That's how a lot of people did it. Like I said, I'm not good at this game at all because I never was that person who like, you know, came in HQ and just comboed, 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 which is why I'm changing now just so I can just, you know, be able to play a lot more with uh, the higher skill players, you know, Hey, major and still trash. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the funnest thing, dude. Uh, it's just a game I enjoyed so much, even though if I would like lose, it's just, it's just like, whatever. <laughs> hmm. Crap. Oh, okay. Now I know what I did. I know what I did. Hold on. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out what, what, what was else with this. It's always when it comes to recording that I just completely forget my combo that I was doing. <laughs> now, I don't think this is like a go to thing because I kind of feel like I should go into this afterwards, but I'm pretty sure either way it goes, they still have a chance of blocking my hits too. I just got to keep it in mind. Not sure how fast it comes to blocking when it comes to like um, Anubis second attack. If anything, I'm hoping the devs added like certain settings for like a character. 
for like your like AI characters, you know? I kind of want to have my characters blocking at all times, you know? Just to see, you know, guard breaking skills or pretty much like anything like combo wise, how fast you have to be before they're ready to reset their block and everything. Seeing if you can like guess through their block or when they're about to drop their block or the time limit of their block, stuff like that. And that's kind of another thing I want to see from them if it's possible, which it should be possible. You know, the robots can do it, you know. Oh, damn. Oh, well, that's a weird hitbox, but OK, sure. Whatever. <laughs> But yeah, Anubis is definitely on the table. I like Lucifer a little bit. Lucifer was actually pretty cool, especially design-wise. Uh, Lucifer had one of the sickest design designs out of the characters. I said one of the sickest, not the sickest. <laughs> Even though I wasn't like a huge like Lucifer player. I know a few people who played him. Not all of them. But yeah, Lack Sense Gears are pretty good. It's just more of where you are in North America. <laughs> I figured out that a lot of people are saying North, the Western side lags quite harder than the East side, which I haven't had any lag experiences aside from my like computer having like it's weird freeze ups now and then. I guess you can count that as lag. But, yeah. Uh, how do I say it? If anything, I, I had ran into a lot of laggers. That's for sure. I know from my streams that there was a samurai who, you know, couldn't combo. Well, he could combo. It's like this now and then thing to where he would just, like, teleport anytime you tried to hit him. That happened to like quite a few players I was playing in like deathmatch with, which is unfortunate. But from what I do know, from most people I'm fighting, like since gears do work. I've seen a lot of like Lucifer grabs go off. I've seen a lot of Michael grabs go off. But when I was using Michael, not every last grab went off. It's kind of like a mini stun, which I could definitely say Michael. Michael not getting his grab is not the worst thing just because it turns into a mini faint if the grab doesn't fully go through which is like great for michael <laughs> but either way it goes it's a win-win if you grab them or not everybody's also asking for arc robe never to be in which i kind of feel just because they're just having somebody in the mid combo you know you're about to edge them or do fall damage combo it, changing to football helmet <laughs> definitely cancels most of that damage you're address just about to put in but there are well there were a lot of people who built into fall damage characters too so just having football helmet and that built in together is just pretty much screw fall damage <laughs> which was always annoying but eh, it really depends on what the devs seem seem like they want to do Hopefully, hopefully they do contests. That's that's what I want to see is another contest, you know, see some more unique stuff. I don't want. <sighs> How do I explain it? A lot of like the lost sagas of different genres, the Indian and the Korean version aren't the same at all. <laughs> they actually have like totally different characters from what I know and totally different systems and things. How do they work? In a definitely does not have to be like the other Lost Sagas. That's the thing. Since they're not adding uniques, it doesn't fully have to be like the other other Lost Sagas. There's plenty of ways they can they can bring like Lost Saga in a to a point where it's unique in itself. I'm not sure if they have. Well, I know it's region locked. I know that much. Because, you know, it's in a in a law saga. But the things I've already suggested was like a YouTube content creator. Like program, because, you know, there's so many things you can do with that. 
you know, give your uh, content creators like a lot to work on. You know, if they want to just like do nothing but Lost Saga content, they can. Or they can just do a lot of Lost Saga content with a little bit of side games, you know, borderless screen. Because let's let's be honest, most of us are getting tired of clicking off the game and it just <laughs> minimizing. Yeah, the game is frozen right now because the game minimized as soon as I clicked off. I was kind of hoping they would uh, update the game because the borderless gaming wasn't like too huge of a thing back then that I can say until like people started catching on to it more that's for sure which I'm happy about just because borderless is like really good but the thing is Lost Saga has a security system to where I don't think borderless gaming program will work <sighs> but that's it you know what I'm just gonna end off there I'm gonna go ahead and practice some more Anubis combos and I'll try and upload some um, deathmatch or combo videos that we can like, you know, chill behind, you know? Gee, I'll figure out something. I got I got plenty of combos I can go off of, you know. It's just going to be fun when the actual game releases to where I can just, you know, have characters I could just swap between and show you guys like different starter combos or different ways to start with a character. Not all characters have combo starting ability, let's say that, like Robin Hood. Uh, Robin Hood only just has the range attack, and that's pretty much it. Knockback. <laughs> but hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out.